Hello, this is Professor Brooks English, and in this navigation tutorial for YonseiEnglish.com, we will look at the most common assignments and how to submit them. We will not review all of them, but just the most common ones. First, I'd like to start with a freeform assignment. This assignment is the easiest of all assignments to submit. First, click on the assignment. It will take you in and give you some details about that assignment. You'll come down here, read the instructions, and then you'll see a rubric of how the assignment will actually be evaluated, and then you prepare an answer. The message editor will pop up. You submit your answer, and then you have two options. You can save and submit for grading, so the teacher will immediately start grading it or you can save it but not submit yet and then maybe you want to add some more resources that uh, that you find later go to the library do some more research and then submit it and then add some things and then submit it okay well for this purpose we'll do this one okay so we've gone we've gone ahead and seen the answer if you want to uh, edit your answer you can prepare another answer such as, and then you can add more and then submit for fi save and submit for final grading. Uh, what will happen is that um, it will replace the one that you actually um, submitted before. However, the time will change. So if you were just up against the deadline, the deadline was just, just passed, if you submit again, your submission will be shown as late. If it is late and you have permission from the professor to be late, include in your answer that you have permission from the professor not to be late. Okay, so we'll go back to assignments. And now, next we'll look at another really easy one, which is offline. Offline is means that the grade will actually not be done on the actual computer, but it could be a written test, um, an essay, something like that. If you, when you complete it, you just click complete, and if you go back to assignments, you will notice that it is gone, or at least it's submitted. The next assignment that I want to show you how to submit is discussion assignment, and this one sometimes is a little difficult for students. We'll first click on the assignment, Again, there will be information about the assignment. This assignment has not started yet. The, we read the instructions. And then down here, there is what's called a thread link. What we do is, if you want to subscribe to every single comment in the discussion, you can click this. But usually, this overwhelms your mailbox, so don't do it. Instead, click this, chapter questions for making Mondragon. This will take you to the actual assignment again. There might be some duplication. And then you click reply to offer your answer. When you click reply, the message editor will come up and you put in your reply. If you want, you can, dis you can subscribe to just you what your comment was and whoever replied to it. Click send. And if you look, you can now see it. If, for example, you want to talk to a, you want to reply to another student's comment, do not reply here, which is replying to the assignment. It's an original comment. This is a reply just to the person who posted a comment. So the message editor will come up again, and this time I'll put in a different comment. And again, I'm subscribing to the thread. So anytime anyone comments about my comments, you will get a message in your mailbox. Okay, you can also delete and edit, but if you do delete, it will show message deleted. So we will be able to see it. Try to minimize your deleted message messages. Okay, so moving on, we'll go back to assignments. And next, we will see 
what's called a survey assignment. I give these from time to time to basically just find out what students are thinking or feeling about our class or about something in particular. We click on it, there's the information, instructions, and simply take survey. I click on take survey, da -da, da -da. Now when you're filling this out, please don't just put in anything. Thoughtfully consider the questions and then give your answers. Finished. That was easy, wasn't it? Hopefully this website will be a joy for you to use and I've tried to make sure that the, assi the assignments are as easy as possible to submit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like other tutorials that are not here, please suggest them to your professor. Have a great day.